in this file, um, I'm in the client file, you'll notice if you see the black across the top. So again, I'm filing on behalf of my client. Um, and the bits that I just skipped for you guys was exactly the same thing I did before. I went in, I did the OAuth um, process, and then I turned on MTD for this client. But for this particular client, I want to use um, I want to use a bridging solution instead. So where I've got this submit return option, um, instead of choosing that submit return, I click in the drop down arrow next to it. Okay, and the drop down arrow gives me a couple of options. One option will be to submit with the spreadsheet. So I click on Submit with Spreadsheet, and uh, it takes me to this page here. Um, and it just kind of confirms, look, make sure that your spreadsheet has the, the final figure. So your spreadsheet and the final figures in your spreadsheet, that is your source of truth. That's what's going to be filed with HMRC. Um, there's an option as well to, to see a preview of what's required. Um, so I'll just click on that. Um, so this is just a sample, by the way. But it's just showing you, see your various boxes? You've got box 1 to 9. There's your totals. Um, that's the information that needs to be in there. Uh, it doesn't matter where, as you're going to see, it doesn't matter where it is, just as long as it's clear, here are all my box, uh, the figures in my boxes. So I will actually show you what my spreadsheet looks like as well. Um, so I have my spreadsheet already prepared, so I click Browse. I've got it saved locally, so I just double-click on it. I click Next to continue once I bring it in. Um, then because my spreadsheet has a couple of different sheets, I'm going to say uh, the sheet is Client VAT Return. Um, and then I need to say what cell the first box comes up with. So I'll just show you my uh, spreadsheet. Okay, so that's the spreadsheet that I'm about to upload. Um, so if you notice there, there was a couple of different sheets. That's why I had to specify. And then if you notice where box one is, uh, if you read up there, it's E7. Okay, so that's the number that I need to uh, put in. I'm going to click E7. Um, and now the system has kind of correctly guessed that it's a fairly um, obvious E8 is going to be the next box down. Um, and then it kind of calculates it for you. So my figure there for the net VAT to pay is box three to four. Just show you again. I'm just going to bring you back into the spreadsheet just so you can see that information. Okay, so you can see that 117.52. Uh, I'm going to click review return. Just gives me that information again. You can confirm it. And I say I declare the information is true and complete. And I submit uh, to HMRC. Quite similar, uh, again, once we've got submission, we're going to connect to HMRC, and we're looking for one of two things. We're looking for a sign that it's communicated with HMRC. So if the last one got accepted, um, it's going to be accepted or rejected. Um, if it does get rejected, you'll get a number to give the care team a call. Um, so if I put in the wrong VAT number or something like that, you'd get a rejection, you'd give the care team a call. If it's accepted, similar as it is here, Similar to before, accepted by HMRC. Um, you know, you can next click done to get back in and record your payment. Okay? Um, so it's just going to bring me into this, back into the, the home screen.